Welcome everybody. It's wonderful to be with you. Tonight's theme is going to be the welcoming prayer. So let's begin with the psalm. It's chanted antiphonally. God whispers to the heart, be still, I am with you. God whispers to the heart, be still, I am with you. God is our refuge and our strength, a present help in times of trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved and shaken. God whispers to the heart, be still, I am with you. We will not fear, though the mountains be toppled into the sea, though the depths of the waters rage and foam. God whispers to the heart, be still, I am with you. Be still and know that I am God. God is with us. God has spoken and the earth shall melt away. God whispers to the heart, be still, I am with you. Welcome to this digital contemplative prayer group. This is a place for all God's people. Whatever your beliefs or doubts, you are welcome here. If you are new to Centering Prayer, just follow the instructions as the session unfolds. You are also welcome to use the silence in any other way that is right for you. Loving God, we ask for your blessings upon this gathering. Recognizing that we bring the joys and sorrows of our lives here today. If anyone would like to mention silently or aloud, expressions of gratitude or concern for ourselves, our families, our friends, our society, or our fragile planet, please do so now. God, we trust that you hear our prayers, silent or spoken, wordless or in words. So I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about the welcoming prayer, not for the first time. Many of you are very familiar with the welcoming prayer. It might be newer to some of you. It's a prayer that we use in the midst of daily life, but it can also be helpful to come apart and practice it just to strengthen and refresh our experience of it and remind ourselves that it's a tool that's there for us whenever we need it. Centering prayer is a kind of prayer that we do when we come apart from life to sit in silence for 20 or 30 minutes. While the welcoming prayer is a form of consent on the go that can be used for as little as 30 seconds in the midst of our daily life, 
and we can turn to the welcoming prayer whenever we find ourselves being overwhelmed by an emotion in the midst of our daily activities. And it's a way to greet what's happening in our bodies and just be with it, to be completely present with it and welcome it rather than resisting it and trying to push it away. Because often when we do that, we discover that what is causing us trouble is not so much the emotion that we're feeling, but our desire to run away from it or not experience it. So when we can just touch it with our attention and greet it and allow it to be there, our experience can unfold in a different, richer way. So whenever we find that it's difficult or perhaps even impossible to let go of an emotion or a state of meeting, meet a state of being, we can move more deeply into that state rather than trying to push it away. This might be the last thing we feel like doing at that moment. We all have our different ways of running away from what we're feeling, maybe with avoidance, repression, addiction, analysis, or all of them. The welcoming prayer is a way of accepting what is rather than trying to run away from it. We consent to the present of the sacred in all its forms and to this moment, just as it is. These are the three steps of the prayer. The first step is to feel and sink into whatever you're experiencing in your body, to just notice all the sensations that are unfolding as the emotion touches you. Where is it in your body? What does it feel like? What does it remind you of? Is it moving? Are you tensing parts of your body or breathing differently than usual? Is it a familiar sensation? We'll have an, I'll invite you into an experience of it and we'll investigate these questions a little bit more in a moment, but I'll just describe them first. The second step is to welcome whatever you're experiencing, accepting that your feelings are there and you can just be however you are without trying to change anything. It's an opportunity to consent to God's presence within us, which is of course what we do in centering prayer. In the welcoming prayer, we do it in the midst of our daily life. Whatever is happening to us, we consent. And the third step is to let go. You can go back and forth between step one and step two for as long as you need to. Sometimes if you're in the midst of a busy day, you only have a few moments to do that. But if you have a little bit more time, you might go back and forth between the feeling and sinking into whatever you're experiencing in your body and the welcoming until you feel a kind of a ripening or unfolding and you're ready to let go. And when you're ready, you can say the phrase, I let go of my desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment as it is. Or if you can't remember those words, just say, I let go, or just say, welcome. So I invite you to experience this prayer. And there are two ways of doing that when we come apart and do it like this together. When we do it in our daily lives, we're doing it with whatever experience we need to be working with. If you're not feeling some particular 
emotion that you want to work with right now. You can just notice whatever's happening with your body and just focus on that and allow it to ripen and unfold. You can welcome emotions that aren't afflictive. You can welcome just whatever sense you have in your body right now, whatever it is. Or you could remember an experience you had earlier today that caused you a little bit more turmoil in your body and you could work with that a little bit. So I invite you to just close your eyes gently and notice how your body is. If you'd like to work with a specific experience, you can just remember how it felt to be overwhelmed by an emotion or just touched by an emotion. And just notice how that feels in your body. For some of us, that will be easy. For some of us, that may be very difficult. You might go right to where it is in your body, or you might need to scan your body, starting with your head, your face, your neck. Is there some tightness in your neck? some constriction in your face, an expression in your face that comes out of the emotion, tightness in your shoulders, a feeling in your throat, a lump, a feeling of your swallowing being constricted or of something that you want to speak that is somehow strangled within you, unable to come up. Often emotions are lodged in our chest in different ways, affecting our breathing, making our breathing tight, or a tightness around the heart, around the ribs. You might notice something in your hands or arms. Or you might notice energy moving throughout your body, a kind of nervous fluttering. You might notice in, it in some part of your body that totally surprises you and that you don't understand what it would be doing there. You don't have to understand or label the emotion. You don't need to know what it is. You don't need to change it or do anything to it. Just notice what's happening in your body. If you don't notice very much, that's okay too. Just be with a peacefulness in your body or a numbness, a lack of feeling. You might just continue to scan and see what unfolds. You might start with one feeling and notice it ripening or changing or moving or evolving. What does it feel like? Is it familiar? Just be fully present to it. And when you're ready, just welcome it, whatever that means for you. Welcome it and allow it to be there. Accept that it's there and you can just feel the way you're feeling, be the way you're being without trying to change it. Consent to God's presence in whatever form it may take without understanding, analyzing, or explaining it. And if you'd like, you can move back and forth between the feeling and the welcoming. And when you're 
ready, say, I let go of my desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment as it is. Let go of all the motivations for trying to change or resist the feeling and just welcome and embrace, let go, allow to unfold. Trusting that what needs to happen will happen. Thomas Keating says, the welcoming prayer practice is a way of letting go into the present moment in the ordinary routines of daily life. It's used when your needs for security, affection, and control are frustrated or gratified and cause emotional reactions. It's a way of turning everything over to God so I find it's helpful to practice the prayer together every once in a while, because it's just a reminder that the prayer is there. It's the hardest thing about the prayer is just to remember to do it when we get overwhelmed in the midst of daily life, just to remember that it's there as a tool and that just trying to do it however quickly or imperfectly we may do it is a way of welcoming God's activity in our experience. Teresa Saunier says, what I welcome in the welcoming prayer practice is not the feeling, emotion, thought, or body sensation, but God's activity in them. So we welcome God in all the forms that God takes, the ones that surprise us or that we want to reject because they're not what we were expecting or that we don't think God could possibly be in that. This prayer teaches us to become more and more receptive to whatever God is offering us. So now let's turn to our centering prayer. I invite you to take your posture with your back straight and your body flowing out from your spine. And just notice your body again. Notice if it's changed since we were doing the welcoming prayer. Are there any adjustments that you'd like to make before we begin? Is there any way you'd like to breathe into your body or give it a little shake? Or just touch the feelings that you've been welcoming and let go of them again? And just take a moment to get in touch with who God is for you right now. Perhaps through something that you experienced in the welcoming prayer or some other sense of God's aliveness, God's mystery, God's beauty, God's darkness. Whatever it might be, just allow that to be there. Allow it to infuse your prayer. You don't need to think about it during the time of prayer, but it helps to bring us back to the prayer to motivate us and engage us. 
as we practice silently and wordlessly. And if you'd like, you could silently sound your sacred word like a bell calling you to prayer or just touch your sacred breath, the feeling of it in your body. Just getting in touch with your sacred symbol and reminding yourself that it's there whenever you need it. And whenever you find yourself engaged with your thoughts, distracted by them, you can just ever so gently touch your sacred symbol with your attention to return yourself to God's presence. Loving God, help us to welcome all that is within us.
Our Lexio passage tonight is by Frank Ostaszewski, who's a Buddhist writer and chaplain, and it's taken from his five precepts. And this is the first precept. I'll read it three times, and then I'll invite you to share a word or phrase that resonated for you. Listen with the ear of the heart. The first precept, welcome everything, push away nothing. In welcoming everything, we don't have to like what's arising. It's actually not our job to approve or disapprove. It's our task to trust, to listen, and to pay careful attention to the changing experience. At the deepest level, we are being asked to cultivate a kind of fearless receptivity. This is a journey of continuous discovery in which we will always be entering new territory. We have no idea how it will turn out and it takes courage and flexibility. We find a balance the journey is a mystery we need to live into, opening, risking, and forgiving constantly. The first precept, welcome everything, push away nothing. In welcoming everything, we don't have to like what's arising. It's actually not our job to approve or disapprove. It's our task to trust, to listen, and to pay careful attention to the changing experience. At the deepest level, we are being asked to cultivate a kind of fearless receptivity. This is a journey of continuous discovery in which we will always be entering new territory. We have no idea how it will turn out and it takes courage and flexibility. We find a balance the journey is a mystery we need to live into, opening, risking, and forgiving constantly.
The first precept, welcome everything, push away nothing. In welcoming everything, we don't have to like what's arising. It's actually not our job to approve or disapprove. It's our task to trust, to listen, and to pay careful attention to the changing experience. At the deepest level, we are being asked to cultivate a kind of fearless receptivity. This is a journey of continuous discovery in which we will always be entering new territory. We have no idea how it will turn out. And it takes courage and flexibility. We find a balance. The journey is a mystery we need to live into. Opening, risking, and forgiving constantly. I invite you to share a word or phrase that resonated for you. A mystery we need to live into. Fearless receptivity. We have no idea how it will turn out. Trust. Journey of discovery. Constantly. Not our job to approve or disapprove. Fearless receptivity. Let's close by praying the night prayer together. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for being here. It was wonderful to be with you. Thank you, Lindsay. Have a wonderful Thanks, day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay.